Hello and welcome you crazy people my name is Jay and in this video I'm going to have to issue a spoiler warning straight off the bat the image that we're going to talk about is related to the recent TV show of uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier that's been on Disney Plus I'm going to give a mild spoiler for that so if that's of any concern please you know click off but I <laughs> This video isn't really about that, it's mainly about Star Wars Legion and what I think this image and what this means possibly for Star Wars Legion going forward as a whole. And I think it could be game changing if they do it more. If this doesn't happen then obviously no, <laughs> there'll be no change. But let's show you the image and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So they released this image, which for those of you who don't know, spoiler as I said, you've got your last chance. The, basically Falcon becomes Cap Captain Falcon or Captain America Falcon whatever you want to call it Captain Falcon I think is from uh, uh, Super uh, Smash Brothers <laughs> uh, whatever uh, no I'm not sure if he's originally from that I don't know enough about it please don't tell me I don't care but Falcon becomes Captain America and um, the fact that this has come out pretty much as the TV show ended or it's been this image has, has been shown I appreciate that they probably couldn't have done it any sooner for fears of it leaking and it actually would have been a spoiler in itself so they couldn't have the miniature released directly straight like straight as a tv show had announced it so the ha there is going to be some sort of delay and that's not perfect but it is what it is um but yeah this image ties in directly with that tv show now they may have done that before but for me I, this is the first and the fact that it's happening at all i think is absolutely fantastic and possibly completely game changing um, I don't know if it's happened before in Marvel. Um, I don't know. You can let me know if they have on that one because I am curious. I'll put a comment if, if they have. Um, but I'm very excited to see it. Because one uh, disappointment I had with, say, The Mandalorian. There's been two seasons of The Mandalorian. We know we're getting stuff for The Mandalorian for Star Wars Legion. But we don't know when. And it's, we're, it's already late. We've already had two seasons. Hopefully they'll tie that in with the third season. But just think how much better it would have been if they had a Mandalorian model when the Mandalorian season one came out. I think how many 3D printed versions of that there have been. <laughs> it would have been so much better as a tie-in. So for me, this is an indication that they're at least willing to have this relationship with Disney. By they, I mean Atomic Mass Games or Asmodee, whoever is doing it. They're willing to have a relationship with Disney, get trusted to not spoil and not leak stuff to an extent, and if that can continue, that could mean really big things. If we start getting tie-ins with the TV shows and the films of Star Wars, that could really bump up the popularity of the game. So, yeah, I mean, I won't continuously look at this image, but <laughs> uh, that is basically what I think it means. If you do that tie-in properly, just hit the mic, I do apologise, but if you do that tie-in properly, I do feel like that the game can connect to a whole new audience. I strongly suspect there's quite a lot of people who play Warhammer 40k who like Star Wars. If we can give them more and more reasons to think about trying Star Wars Legion, then Star Wars Legion has the possibility to grow. I think it's... I don't know if it's true, but my guess is that it's unlikely that Star Wars Legion would be the starting game for a vast majority of people. There will be some of you who have literally started with Star Wars Legion and I completely appreciate that. But I suspect a lot of people have been in the hobby in various ways generally the gateway games are like 40k and maybe like Warhammer Fantasy a lot of us played that and Age of Sigmar now so we want to attract those people we already have a good IP we have the good IP in Star Wars people like Star Wars we just need to build on that and if you do these tie-ins correctly I just feel like that the sky becomes the limit and um, obviously if you have a great game that can take you so far but I love I love to see it I love to see it I feel like if you can build hype and you can build interest then your game grows and I think that's what everybody wants we want the game to grow become more popular and have you know better good rules great models etc so I think this is potentially game changing if they continue with this and they do it more often and um, it may not be it might be a one-off they may have already done it and maybe marvel's already ahead of the game but in star wars we've, we've generally had in legion specifically we've generally had a bit of a delay we do get stuff from the films and tv shows they just don't come out at the exact the the right time <laughs> if that makes sense we don't get them when they when they should come out 
like for example the first order those films we we don't even have the uh, uh sequel trilogy stuff we've already had three films now i appreciate that the timing of the game coming out and when those films came out that's not ideal but just just that kind of stuff um if they could do a better job of that the, the obvious example is the mandalorian there was the mandalorian was in the trailers all you would have needed was a model of him and he could have come out when the mandalorian was like on its last episode or something boom massive hype big interest in the game these are some pipes for my terrain it's bugging me that it's in the shop but i'm making terrain so there you have it and um, that's it i think it's very interesting could be massive could be nothing but i'm excited to see it at least from um, marvel crisis protocol i said in my other video that i think the marketing for star wars Legion is a little bit poor at the minute um by the way i never said in that video the reason i think it's poor is because they can do they can do marketing so well for marvel now obviously they've had time to film this full till this paint it etc so i'm optimistic that they will do a good job with star wars legion as long as they don't ditch it and make a new game and replace it <laughs> but we'll see about that have a most beautiful day like and subscribe goodbye